next video i will be talking about what is email spam bot and how to protect your website from those spam bots let's begin with spam bots as a uh, I have explained earlier what is spam bots, what are types of spam bots, how to prevent them. So email spam bot is one of those uh, spam bots. So before getting started, I would recommend to check the link in the description where I have mentioned a link for this tutorial and the other tutorial uh, link where I have explained the spam bots and also the video link which I have shared below for uh, what are spam bots and how to prevent them. So let's begin with uh, this uh, tutorial. So when uh, we speak about or when we talk about email spam bots, so email is one of the channel which has been used very much uh, uh, when it comes to spam or phishing or uh, sharing irrelevant data or showing ads. So uh, spam bots usually use email as a primary channel to gain profit by phishing, spamming users with irrelevant ads or unwanted data or uh, links uh, or links in the mail to the phishing pages to get the user information and many more. So in this tutorial, uh, I will be sharing what is an email spam bot and how it gets email addresses of people to send spam. So the topics that we will be covering in this uh, video is what is email spam bot, how are spam bots used for sending spam emails, how to detect if a message is from a spam bot or a real person. What is email spam bot? As the name suggests, email spam bot is a small program written to collect email addresses all over the internet by crawling web, uh, web pages or website. Uh, the moment you share your email address on uh, any platform on any website, these bots uh, got, gets your attention uh, since they are programmed to capture those email addresses. There are multiple reasons. First of all, uh, the email addresses can be gained through the sites for uh, the two primary reasons, two primary sites uh, that if your sites on which you have submitted the data is publishing or exposed to the other third party uh, organizations that uh, they, are, they are reading the particular data for that particular site, then the information is exposed. The second site, might be uh, where you are providing the information has some vulnerability which these bots can detect and uh, get your data so these bots have a pattern matching uh, sense for example uh, email rejects which has a name at the rate and the domain name so email spam bots typically keeps on crawling websites comment sections and forums to harvest those email addresses if you are sharing your email addresses on some websites uh, then you should mask that uh, email address in such a way like my name uh, dot for dot you should not actually give a dot it should be uh, written in a round bracket as dot then some number if your email has at the rate should be written as at uh, then again domain and dot com or something dot in or something so this is one of the way you can mask your email address and share a uh, everywhere but still uh, with the growing uh, set of rules even this might be one of uh, the regex that already bot has learned so we can't give in full assurity that is it, it is safe or not so once this email uh, spam bots complete building a massive email list it starts targeting uh, the users with brand emails containing malicious link uh, which is capable or enough to steal your data now, how uh, spam bots use for sending spam emails? So, what kind of emails they are sending to the users? First of all, money scam emails. For example, uh, the money scam emails are those which will uh, make you understand that this email is a genuine email and sent to you so that you can donate or uh, you can earn a money by donating a small am amount uh, to a particular organization or it may be for example if a current situation is a COVID-19 situation so the email might be something we are from this organization and your small do donation can help a patient suffering from this disease so these are the small uh, tricks that email scam uh, money scam emails has the second part is malware warnings uh, so basically whenever an email is sent to uh, many users 
this emails have links in between to download uh, for example that email will show that your system is having a malicious thing so in order to uh, in order to remove that malicious uh, or malware you can download the software from this link and that link might be a malicious software link which will be downloaded automatically in your system and that might crash your system third one is ads so there might be a, uh, ads for example you might have seen e-commerce ads when whenever they are uh, sending a brand products or selling a brand products and services so it can be some mail uh, from unknown or authentic unauthenticated uh, user but it will act as a email from an e-commerce authenticated email uh, e-commerce uh, site third is an email spoofing so this this scam messages related to the phishing which state the origin is from someone you are associated with or the person knows you but ideally when uh, you are looking that email source they are fooling you so these are the most uh, dangerous e uh, spam till date so they act as an uh, known person but uh, get all your information from you by using those phishing pages and all chain letters and again the adult contents yeah these are the most used uh, email spam bots used uh, targeted on your inboxes where you, you might be clicking this and moving to a page link a page having a uh, an un uh, safe or uh, vulnerability full of vulnerability uh, website where you will be sharing your data so how uh, you will detect a, this is an email from a spam bot or real person so this is uh, if if the from address or the authentication authenticate uh, the email from address from address is authenticated uh, and if you are if the from address is unknown then it's a suspicious sender though the spam usually has an unknown sender address which is a non-standard or combination of numbers and alphabets it is always better to check the from address from where before clicking uh, anything within that email urgent subjects like uh, hurry up buy this 50 percent off or 100 percent off or something you have win a lottery these are the ur urgent subjects which is super attractive so these are one of the spam bot uh, emails spelling and gra grammar mistakes so normal user won't use a dictionary word to send out the email they will use in simple uh, words to describe what uh, email is and what kind of information they will be uh, sharing in that email strange links there will be numbers of links in an emails uh, redirecting to the malicious websites probably to attract you with some offers or something and grab your uh, information and fifth one is the most favorite one that is it's not an spam email but it is an spam email where you can find uh, the subject and body having uh, this line you are receiving this email because you have opt-in or registered to our website so uh, this was uh, this was something that uh, we talk about how email spam bots work and how you can detect those spam bots and re, uh, among the spam bots and real person. For this video, uh, uh, till this video, we are concluding that email spam bots are uh, one way communication from brands, but it moves to an uh, suspicious level when you are interacting with those emails. So it's better to, uh, there are a few pointers to restrict the spam, uh, spam bots, email spam bots. Always check the source from where you have received an email. Unsubscribe your emails uh, if it is not required. Keep an alternative emails if possible. Keep updated your spam filters. Maintain an alternative that I have again shared. I hope uh, this video was useful to you. You can share your views in the comment section. Thank you.